How you guys, so fuck here, and welcome to another FIFA 20 preview. And in this video, I'm bringing the 81 rated UEFA Europa League road to the final. And XPC gets and Fernandez of Benfica. This is actually a really good looking card, and also a really really cheap SPC. Uh, I was able to do his SPC for absolutely free, and in the free games that I played him, we didn't score me any goals, but he did get me free assists. And he does also have a first week thoughts as well as free star skill moves. Moving along to him stats, his main set on stats are going to be his 85 shot power, his 84 ball control, as well as his 86 agility, and finally his. 84 short passing and I did also have the uh, architect chemistry style applied to this gets in Fernandez card and um of course, Benfica did finish third in their UCL group, uh, and they have got Shakhtar in the last 32, which is a bit of a harsh draw for both teams, considering both of them finished third place in the UCL. In my opinion, if both, you know, if a team finishes third in the UCL and drops down into the Europa League, they should play someone that's only played in the Europa League, in my opinion, just for the last 32 match. I don't think like UCL teams that have finished third should then be drawn against each other for the last 32, but apparently that's just the rules that UEFA go by. So uh, a difficult game for both sides, certainly not an easy one for Benfica, but they're more than capable you know, of being able to win it. You know, they can win the competition. The chances are that they won't win the competition, but of course they do have a you know a pretty decent squad. But this Getson Fernandez card is absolutely fantastic. And of course, if Benfica are to go through to the last 16, I think I'd be writing something that they go from an 81 to an 83 as these cards follow the same upgrade system as in forms. It would either be an 83 or an 84. I think it is an 83 that he would go to. But even as an 81, I thought he was a fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder card. Now I had to use the full triple two formation um, to do the, all the free reviews at the same time to get the chemistry to work, but um, I think he can play a CDM position well. It, it's interesting because the CDM position that I'm using in the full triple two, it isn't the CDM position in in the formation I was using is a much more advanced CDM role than a CDM role, for example, in a four one two one two formation. Um, so essentially, although he was playing as a CDM, technically because of how far that CDM role was pushed up in this particular formation, he was technically playing almost as a centre midfielder. And I think he suits that position best as a box to box midfielder. Don't get me wrong; I think he worked very very well in like a four one two one two formation, for example, as a CDM. But yeah, it's those two positions: a centre mid or a CDM. He works well basically in either of those positions. Let's just, you know, get that pretty clear now. But, um, yeah, for me, his first pro is going to be his tackling. I thought his tackling was very, very impressive. 82 stand tackle and 81 slide tackles. We've got uh, decent interceptions and decent defensive awareness as well. Came in with quite a few important tackles, you know, just being able to regain position of the ball back in the midfield. And then, you know, going on to make passes, start attacks off. You'll, you'll see in some of the clips as well where he'll make a tackle and then he'll provide like an insane through ball to Ronaldo or to Rebic for them to have chances on goal. So, um, so you know, he could really do a lot of the dirty work in field and then go on to create other chances which I thought was very very impressive by him and I'll tell you what as well guys he didn't play like an 81 rated car like a bog standard 81 he felt like um in my opinion I'm going to come out of this he felt what the 86 Root Hullet would feel like. Now, I haven't used Root Hullet this year, but I can imagine him, I can imagine Root Hullet to feel very similar to the Skelson Fernandez card. And let's be quite honest, there's actually not much difference between the 86 um, Hullet and the 81 Fernandez in terms of overall stats. Obviously, in game, um, I, I would assume that uh, Root Hullet is a better overall card, but in terms of base stats, I don't think there's that much to separate the two cards if you just look on the face of them. But um, no, yeah, going back to what I was saying before, though, tackling superb. Also, his strength of foot was very impressive as well. And um, he's got 76 strength that goes up to 86. His, uh, his aggression as well goes up to 92. He can bully players off the ball. He can also hold his own in the, in, in the central midfield, which I thought was very, very important for him. So, it, you know, it, it meant that he wasn't getting bullied himself by, by opposition midfielders. He could hold his own ground, which I thought was very, very impressive. So, again, strength, another nice part of the card. And his final pro as well, I will also give it to his passing. Three assists in the three games is a fantastic return. He's got 81 vision that goes up to 91 vision. Also, his short passing goes to 94, and his long passing goes to 96. So, the architect chemistry style, in my opinion, is probably the best chemistry style that you can apply to this card because it just boosts his strength and passing so, so much to make him absolutely insane. And his free balls, I have to say, were immaculate. They were very, very impressive. I, I'll be quite honest, I didn't really use his long passing too much, but short passing through the balls across the ground he was superb at them so um yeah you know really really fun cards to use for me there were no issues to him whatsoever i think for a card that is pretty much going to cost you almost zero i think it's a fantastic card to go for even as an 81 right now i think he's 100 percent worth it and even usable in a starting 11 as an 81 racer because as i said he doesn't play like an 81 racer he plays a lot better than that and also has the potential for more upgrades if benfica are to continue to progress in the europa league but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.